Hi lovers! So I'm finally back to do um, my videos like hopefully back in a good uh, routine and everything again. I've had the most hectic past few weeks um, with everything going on and as you can actually see on my face um, <laughs> I've started breaking out. I don't know if the camera even will pick up on the fact that I have things all over my face. You guys see me all the time before I start my tutorials. I have no makeup on. For the most part, I have clear skin. And this week and last week, I've had nothing but just breakouts everywhere, even on my chest. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the stress. Um, I know there's a lot of rumors if you eat chocolate or if you stress out that it makes you break out. Um, I don't know how scientifically correct that is, but I have been under a lot of stress. So if at all those rumors are true, that's probably what caused my, um, my breakouts. Anyway, so the reason why I'm not wearing any lip stuff is because I'm going to be showing you guys lip stuff. Um, and I wanted to swatch it on my lips so you guys can see. But I'm promising to try and get back into more of my routine with my makeup videos. And I'm going to do uh, my t Halloween tutorials. Finally, I kept saying I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna do them, I'm gonna do them, I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm starting, and then things just got crazy around me. But I'm finally gonna upload some. Whoa! So, yeah, it's 4 a.m. right now. I just got off of work and I'm exhausted. But before this got any longer, I wanted to do this video because there is a makeup company. Not one that I've heard of very often. It's not like super, super popular, I don't feel. Because I feel like I always know about companies and see them on Instagram or see them on YouTube. I don't really ever see um, this company advertised or used a lot. But yet, it's on multiple websites for having great, great quality makeup. And it's supposed to be the exact dupe for the original makeup palette. Now, if naked, not makeup, what's wrong with me? Um, if that's the case, it's going to be amazing to find this $50 palette, eyeshadow palette, for the $5 and change that I got, um, the Makeup Academy one. So this one's actually called Undressed. So, hmm, I wonder what they were trying to imply by undressed and naked. But, as you can see, it has the same color scheme. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. A little bit less glare. It has the same color scheme as the naked palette. The naked palette has, I want to say, well, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it has 12. And the undressed palette has 12. So, as you can see, it still has the plastic on the rim. This will be my first time opening it. I haven't even opened it yet to like see the quality of this brand's eyeshadow. I want to do this on camera in front of all of you with um, no pre, pre no, notions, pre opinion, I don't know, whatever, y'all know what I'm saying. So I purchased this with my own money. Nobody asked me to review them, nobody asked me to try them or to show you guys them, anything like that. I found it online. It's, I believe, a London slash UK slash Europe based company. So. It did take almost a month for them to arrive, which was really upsetting because I was really excited to get this done, to show this to you guys. Since it's a lot of browns and golds and warm colors, it'd be perfect for fall. And it just took forever to get here. Everything on the website is super inexpensive. And that is a plus, but at the same time, it just took a really long time. So it comes with one of these super common doodad spongy applicator things. Um, and it has all of the eyeshadows 
inside of this plastic acrylic style case. Uh, right off the bat, I want to say that the outside of the Naked palette, palette is very lush, it's velvet, it's thick, it's sturdy, it feels nice. The mirror is um, an accurate mirror, not a funhouse mirror. You know how they have those mirrors that are kind of like fake mirrors? And if you bend them, they look all distorted and stuff, like the really cheap, not even real glass mirrors. This one doesn't even have a mirror. So that's something that is different from the palette. If we go shadow to shadow, we can compare the colors that we were given. So the first one is a very pale beige-ish slash creamish color. So the Virgin from Naked Palette is this shade one they're all numbered they're not named they're numbered but shade one would be virgin i'm guessing sin would be that shimmery color obviously naked would be that tan oh my gosh I have an itch would be that tan color um sidecar would be that shimmery brown buck would be that color which i can tell just by looking at it that this color and buck are a little bit off um, the gold color would be half-baked, which is a very popular color. When I see people use their Naked palette, almost always they reach for either um, Virgin Sin, Naked Buck, or half-baked. It's always those right here, which are very beautiful and shimmery and pigmented colors. Um, then Smog would be that one. It looks pretty accurate. The next one is Dark Horse. Pretty accurate. Toasted looks a little bit slightly different. This one looks a little bit more pink and toasted looks a little bit more like a brown undertone. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. And then Hustle. Hustle looks nothing like that, to be honest with you. I'm not sure that you would say that that looks alike. Um, creep. In at least in the actual palette, looks like it's not as pigmented as the black in here and then gunmetal looks about accurate. I stuck my nail in it when I was holding it. So you can see that they are all supposed to be replicas of the Naked palette colors. Now to show you a swatch with a clean arm, no um, primer or anything like that. I'm just going to show you the first swatch. Which color should I use? Let me do the one that I thought looked a little off. Where's Buck? Buck, okay. So this is the Buck from Naked. A light touch gave me a full-on thing of um, eyeshadow. Okay. Now let's try the Buck from Undressed. Okay. Alright, so it pigmented, yes. As pigmented as the Naked palette, no. And you can see the colors are not identical. Um, probably shouldn't have done it on my forearm because now I can't really get in there and show y'all. Okay, so this is Buck, the darker one, and this is the other one. Let's try um, Half Baked because I know that's a very popular color. So this is Half Baked from the Naked Palette, which you can tell is a super gorgeous shimmer color that right off the bat was a stupendous payoff. Let's try the... That's number one, two, three, four, five, six. One, that would be this last one. Let's try the half-baked replica. Okay, so what I'm gathering from the undress palette is it has a decent payoff but it's not nearly as pigmented and um, velvety as the Naked palette which you're paying $50 and you're paying $5. But 
For someone who cannot afford or cannot fathom spending $50, that is not bad for um, a replica. Like, you're getting pretty damn close to the real thing. You can never expect something that's significantly cheaper like that to be identical. Sometimes it does happen that way and it's a happy coincidence and it's a great find. But I wouldn't expect to buy this palette and say, okay, we're taking Naked or Urban Decay out of business. I knew there had to be a little bit of a catch. But what I will say is they do have pigmentation. It's not like one of those little kitty eyeshadow palettes that you play with and they have no pigmentation or they like powder or fall apart everywhere. Why don't we try Creep since that one looked really off to me. Creep is the black one and wow, first of all I did, I made a mistake, I started with this one instead of the naked one, but right off the bat dipping my finger into it, you can see that a lot of color came off. Putting it on my arm, it's not consistent. It has its moments where it's blotchy and it doesn't, it's like more chalky and it doesn't, uh, it's not like a solid concentration of like a black color. And there's not too much shimmer to it, which the Creep in the Naked palette has a lot of shimmer in it. Okay, sorry. The camera just stopped on me. Um, after dipping my finger into the Naked palette, Creep one, it actually isn't a solid black either. It has like chalky consistency to it as well. Um, there's a slight difference in person. One more, one looks more like a brown black and has um, more of a chalky look and the other one has a little bit more of a black black and it has a little bit more shimmer to it. But they're almost identical. Like I really wouldn't be able to tell them apart unless I knew that I was doing um, this experiment. Um, so you guys get an idea. You guys have the idea. This is $4 and change or $5 and change on their website. The colors are pretty awesome. I'll take a picture of it and upload it onto my Instagram. That way you guys can see true to light, true to life more than in video because video is not the greatest but yeah if you guys don't want to spend the money on the I'm on the fire it's hot in here if you guys don't want to spend the money on the um, naked palette or urban decay naked palette one or two they have the undress and undress too I think yes undress me too so that's their newest one to compete with the naked palette too so you guys can give them a try, read reviews on them, watch videos on them online and stuff like that because I don't want to tell you yes or no and you have like a completely different opinion on it later on. So just do your research on it, but I thought it was worth a try. I'm actually very, very happy with how good of um, pigmentation I got for the $4, $5 and change. It's almost identical, literally almost identical. Aside from that buck color, not being as vivid or as brown as the naked one, the other ones seem to look pretty darn close. So that's really awesome. Um, I ended up getting an extra one just in case I loved it, and I'm putting that in my giveaway for you guys. So hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll reach my 50K subscribers on here on YouTube, and I can do that humongous giveaway that I've been dying to do for you guys. I have collected for the past six months everything you can imagine. Like anything that I think is part of being a girl or that you guys would love, I got it. I bought Mac stuff, I bought hair stuff, I bought tools, extensions, body stuff, perfume, everything that you can imagine. And I've been holding it in a basket <laughs> waiting to hit that 50K and I'm like so excited to, um, to give it away to somebody. And to like just, I know not everyone can afford the really popular makeup that everyone sees on, 
on Instagram and on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'm beyond excited to give this away to somebody. And I can really use your help, guys' help. If you guys can tell your friends to subscribe and, you know, tweet my videos and like my videos and stuff like that so that they get a little bit more popular and I can afford to do giveaways on a monthly basis, I really want to do that. I really want to highlight a company that I've tried and liked every month and do a major giveaway. And then sometimes in between, just give away stuff that I love. Like, if I like a certain person at Louis Vuitton and I think that you guys would like it too, give it away. Even if they're not sponsoring it, even if it has to come out of my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I can do stuff like that more if I make a little bit of money off the YouTube stuff. But it's not what I'm in it for. The only upside about the money on YouTube is being able to buy the makeup that you guys want to see me review and or me being able to do um, the giveaways for you. I'm not trying to brag, but you guys know I make decent money at my nightclub job. This is my hobby that I do that I love to do just because it makes me happy and I interact with people that love the same things I do. So I don't do it for the money. I didn't even know that you could make off make money off of YouTube for the first years, three years that I was on YouTube. <laughs> people were like, how much do you make? I'm like, oh, nothing. So, um, I don't do it for anything like that, but I want you guys to know that I'm so happy and so appreciative on my last video to see the support that you guys gave to me about my Draw Your Life video, um, conflict slash dilemma. I know that you guys are have been there, a, a few of you have been there from the very beginning and I recognize your screen names and I see your videos and I love them and it's been amazing to follow you guys on your journeys as well. Um, a few of them are more recent followers that have found me and thought that they liked my stuff and they wanted to be supportive and I love that. I absolutely love that. I try and retweet other people's stuff and repost other girls makeup looks and stuff on Instagram to help other people and to make other people feel the support that I feel like I've gotten from you guys. I want to thank you guys a hundred times for having gotten me to the point where I am right now where I can do a 50k giveaway which is so awesome. Anyway, so I love everybody. I'm going to be including the link down below where you can get that palette um, and what the name of it and everything is called. And I will be uploading my swatches woo, onto Instagram. Instagram. My Instagram is public. I don't hide anything. I don't put anything on private. So even if you don't want to create an Instagram in order to see the things that I post, you can always just see it off of my Twitter, off of my YouTube, off of whatever. Just click the link to my actual um, Instagram and you can see my post because they're not um, private and you don't have to request to see my stuff. So it's just better because I don't have a website and rather than putting it on my blog and stuff like that like other gurus do, just going to put it on my Instagram. So just look at it there. Love you guys and I will talk to all of you soon.